Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you for joining me in my video today, which is my February So Hayley Jane box. So I have already opened this. This arrived this morning um, and yes, I thought I would get on and film all of the goodies that are inside. So I subscribe to the classic box. There is a luxury box option and there's a mini box option. I will link the So Hayley Jane website down below in the description box if you want to check it out, if you are unaware of the subscription service. Um, and if you want 10% off your first box, you can use the code MICHELLE10 at checkout and you get 10% off your first box. So, um, yes, I buy all the boxes myself, but if you do use the code, then I do get a tiny little bit of commission for recommending it. So let's get opening. So when you open the box, you're greeted with the lovely yellow tissue paper. It's always yellow. It's like a little ray of sunshine jumping out at you from the box. And then when you open the box, you've got all the goodies inside. And um, what I will do first, though, is run through the little magazine. So you get a magazine every month um, and the box has a theme. And the theme is Lavender Haze. So, mm. so probably thinking there's going to be maybe some lavender or purple going on in the box. <laughs> um, and you would be correct. <laughs> uh, so I'll just quickly flick through the magazine. So you have a little hello from the lovely Hayley herself. Um, this little section here just goes through kind of what's in the box and her thoughts kind of behind the theme and everything. We've got an interview with Sarah, who is my handmade wardrobe. Um, so she has her own pattern line and she also is part of uh, Crafty So-and-So. And I've met Sarah because she um, helped run the uh, dressmaker's ball, which I've been to for the past two years. And there's a lovely little picture here of the dressmaker's ball last year. So recognize a lot of these faces. These were um, the lovely people that won prizes and uh, yeah, for obviously their beautiful handmade outfits. And I do believe Sarah's pattern is in the luxury box. Um, and then we've got a spotlight on, which is uh, Hannah. She is queen of lingerie sewing. So little interview there with her. Um, uh, what's her? The company is called Evie La Louvre. <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. I've probably done that a very bad pronunciation. <laughs> uh, we've got some inspiration, which is for chiffon makes because there is a little bit of chiffon in the box. <laughs> so that's really nice to have some inspiration there. We've got a make of the month, which is this new look, 6452. Um, so yeah, look at that. That's made from the cotton, um, which had like a leopard print, a sort of like a ditzy leopard print. You might just be able to see it there. I still have that fabric. Um, I really need to make something out of it. It is a beautiful colour. I love that colour. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of some sort of like shirt dress, I think, from it. Um, we've got three fabrics, three makes. So I won't show you Esther because she has the main fabric um, and I'll just keep that a little bit of a surprise. But she made the by hand London and a dress um, with her fabric and it looks beautiful. Um, Gemma used the other fabric in the box to make a... Um, Friday Pattern Company Donny shirt. I've made that pattern before. I do like that pattern um, and it looks fabulous in the extra fabric in the box. Again, I'm not going to show it because just in case I would like it to be a bit of a surprise. <laughs> um, I will, however, show you Laura because she got the luxury box and she made um, the Chandler pants and Fleur top um, out of the luxury fabric and the fabric is beautiful. This lovely sort of purple sort of ditzy print. You can see the trousers and the top, they're separates, but because you've made it all in the one fabric or she's made it all in one fabric, it looks like a jumpsuit. It's absolutely beautiful. And I believe that is a Lady um, McElroy um, fabric in the luxury box, absolutely beautiful. And then Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne has done a little style section. And this is all about Taylor Swift because um, the name on um, the front here is Lavender Haze and that was one of her songs off one of her albums. So yeah, she's done a whole section on Taylor Swift sort of um, style and matched some patterns um, to some of her outfits, which I think is really, really nice. 
And we've got the Makers Gallery. This is just seeing what people have made with the So Haley Jane fabrics in the sewing community. So that's lovely. I love this little bear. Absolutely beautiful, made out of some of the back quarters and fabrics. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Love that. Um, and then we've got a So Haley Jane subscriber profile. And this is Debbie. And I love what she's done um, with the fabric. Uh, this was in the luxury box a few months back and she's made, is it the, what is it the Wanda? I think it is the, yes, the wardrobe by me, Wanda wrap dress. Um, absolutely beautiful. That looks absolutely stunning in that fabric. We've got some pattern picks from the fold line, just giving you again some inspiration as what you can uh, make from the main fabric. And then at the back, you've just got what's in the box. So what's in the mini, the classic and the luxury. And if you want to make any notes and that's the magazine. So some of the goodies in the box. I do like the fact that they haven't done like full on Valentine's Day, like sort of hearts, fabrics and all this sort of stuff. But they've done a slight nod to Valentine's Day with um, some of the little gifts that they give you. Um, first off being the sweet treat um which is um there's two of them love hearts mm -mm -mm. i love love hearts <laughs> i do like my sweets so um yeah i'll be munching those a little bit later um and then also we've got this beautiful little notebook with a little heart on how sweet is that so this is a lined notebook i really like these little notebooks they're just great for making obviously notes um especially when i'm doing like my vlogs and things i do like to have a little notebook every now and again if i forget pattern names or numbers so yeah i do like the little notebooks and then we've got some paper clips as well and these are quite nice actually because they're not your standard shape they're like a little uh, sort of like teardrop sort of um, shaped paper clip, which is really nice and in a nice gold colour. So that's sweet. Um, and then the fabrics. So in the classic box, you get two and a half metres of your main fabric, and then you get um, a supplementary fabric. And in this box, you get a metre of the extra fabric. And I love this fabric. This is a chiffon, as I mentioned in the magazine, there was some inspiration on what to do with chiffon absolutely beautiful it is this peachy background with these pinks and purples on there absolutely beautiful I might I, I mean it might not be to everyone's taste because it is very very floral um but I love a floral <laughs> and I think it's absolutely beautiful so yeah this will definitely become um a little top because I've got a meter of it one of my favourite patterns um, to use for a metre of fabric is either the Grainline Studio Scout Tee or the um, True Bias uh, Ogden Cami. I love both of those patterns. Um, this will much, I think, be much more suited to the um, Scout Tee because the Ogden Cami, um, you do have like, you can like double layer it, but because it's a chiffon, it doesn't look incredibly see-through, but it is. Uh, you can probably see my hand through there and even with a with a double layer you'll probably be all right but I think I'd prefer to make a nice boxy tee um I mean I might well try a different pattern from the scout tee um I just know that the scout tee works really well for me and I do love these colors I think it's gorgeous and then you could just literally pop a little vest top or something underneath and yeah you're good to go and I just I love these colors so so pretty so I'm very, very happy with that fabric. And then the main fabric, um, Hayley always gives you a spool of thread to match. And we have white. <laughs> so just a standard white thread, Gutterman 800. So yeah, your proper white thread. And the fabric is beautiful. I'm not sure if you can hear my cat, Misty. In a minute, Misty. <laughs> Let me just take the fabric out of the box. So the main fabric in the box is this. So it is a white background with this purple colour going through and then the blacks and it's got this sort of larger floral um, print. Now I must admit I do love the fabric, I love the colours and everything 
but I must admit, I don't think it's 100% me. I'll be just, I'm just being perfectly honest because I'm used to more of a smaller print, like a ditzy. I mean, you can tell by what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing the So Over It Molly tee and yeah, it's all this sort of ditzy floral. Sorry if you can hear Misty. I will let you in in a minute. Um, and of course, that's why I really like this one because it's the smaller sort of print. Um, this one is a slightly larger scale for me. Um, but I do like the fabric. But I'm just not, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to make. I think for me, it will probably be a blouse um, because of it being a white background uh, mainly. I just think that a dress, I mean, I'll just probably spill something on it. I mean, it is an absolute beautiful fabric, but yeah, I'm just not 100% sure whether it's just my style because it's quite a large scale print. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a think about what I'm gonna make for it, but it probably will be a blouse of some description. I think a blouse is calling to me a lot more than it is a dress because I do want to use it because I do like, I say, I love the colors and everything for it. But yeah, it's just that large sort of scale print um but yeah you get two and a half meters of it so i've got lots and lots to play with um or potentially what i could do actually is if i'm really unsure what to make with it i could just make a pair of pajamas from it i suppose but it seems too nice to use for pajamas i think it's too pretty just the colors and everything are just so lovely um so yeah i'm gonna have a think let me know what you think i should make um blouse wise i think it's not going to be a dress for me um but it will be some form of blouse because say the white background it'd be lovely for work actually with some black trousers i think it would look really really smart as a nice blouse so yes that is my fabric um and the box i hope you enjoyed it just a nice short sweet video again sorry if you can hear misty <laughs> As soon as I come in here and shut the door to record a video, she's just there going, let me in, don't leave me out. <laughs> I will open the door and give her lots of cuddles now. So yes, uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would be lovely if you could. So take care, everyone, and I'll speak to you very soon in my next video. I'm coming, Misty. Bye. There you go. Happy now? That's what she wanted wanted some cuddles <laughs> doing your best uh panther in a tree impression yeah oh and she's dribbly silly little thing <laughs>